our planet of the apps is like a fine cheese, constantly maturing, what with its new ways of communicating, connecting, and offering up endless opportunities to eliminate time wasting. When it comes to traveling from point A to point B, there are many different ways in which we can simplify our commutes and make them way more entertaining. Many developers are eager to improve experiences and battle common problems such as decoding a complicated bus route, or in Jeff Marshall's case, traveling around the underground far more practically. So I'm sitting here with Jeff Marshall, a self-confessed tube geek who's achieved a Guinness World Record for visiting all 270 underground stations in the quickest possible time. Jeff, firstly, how are you? I'm fine. I came by tube, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay. So Jeff, for Sorry. a lot of people, the tube is synonymous with, you know, overcrowding, engineered works, cancellation. Why do you embrace the tube? Why have you embraced the tube so much? I, I think I want to uh, help people get round that and dispel that myth that mm -hmm. it's maybe always late or, or unclean. And it does have its issues, but I, I'm trying to look beyond that and trying to see its, its inner beauty and architecture and, and style. And which if you do it, um, you know, instead of people enduring it, maybe it's something that they can enjoy instead, which would make their journey better. So let's talk about your Guinness World Record. So I mentioned at the beginning, you know, you've hit all 270 underground stations in the quickest possible time. Yes. So what was your time? Uh, in, uh, in August 2013, mm -hmm. me and my friend Anthony got around in 16 hours, 20 minutes and 27 seconds. Whoa. And what does this involve? Do you simply jump on the tube and ride through every station? Do you need to get off at every individual you, station? You don't have to get off every station. Mm -hmm. There are strict rules that the Guinness publish and they, and they, and they, and they publish and you just, you just have to pass through uh, a train that is in um, that is a, a, a public train, i.e., one that is in regular public uh, service, because this is something that people have been doing since the 1950s, you mm -hmm. know, back over 50 years. And you write a logbook of um, where you were, at what time to the second. You get witnesses to say that people you don't know on the tube. Yeah, yeah. You have to approach and, and go, wow. excuse me, and you take a photo with a timestamp, and you provide all this evidence, and they then verify it. Okay, so I want to talk to you about your app, Station Master. So, yes. first of all, just tell me what the app's all about. Uh, so, well, it started out um, as uh, telling you what the best exit position was for, for a train. And that's, that's how it came about, because we had, I literally, for the Tube Challenge, had a note in a, in a paper notebook what the best, not just the best carriage, but get this, but the exact door within that carriage, because yeah. there's four doors for I carriage. remember reading about that at the time and thinking, why has no one done this sooner? Well, there's about, I, I won't, you know, I'm not too ashamed to like plug them. There's a couple of apps that already, that already did it, that were, already, or, or, that were already out there. But, yeah. but again, they just told you what carriage to be in. And I very specifically wanted to know what carriage and door to be in line with yeah. the nearest exit or change point. And it ended up, um, uh, myself and my friend Matt, making this app and putting it out there. But it kind of grew from that. And, it, and, it, and not only does it have um, exit information, but we realized that we then knew where the nearest point to the lift was or, or to the escalator. And we realized that we knew a lot about st uh, st uh, step free um, and accessibility information. So it's become a really good selling app now for those that want um, accessibility information when they're traveling yeah. around in London I, as I, well. I think that information's incredibly important. Sometimes I go to a tube station, I've got a heavy suitcase. Right. And there's no lift. Right, right. And I wish yeah. I knew that. So with that app, you can just <laughs> yeah, look up exactly. in advance and you can see, oh, it, you know, am I going to be in trouble here? Or, or it's simple things like some people say that they can manage steps, but uh -huh. there's a difference between walking five steps and 50 steps if you've got a, a condition yeah, or something. <laughs> and some stations have 50 steps and some only have five and yeah. so again we went to me and my friends we went to every station um checking in on four squares we went and we and we made a note of like everything that was at that station so it's like our app is like an encyclopedia of tube yeah. overground and dlr stations it's like in the london. need to know guide of yeah. everything public transport in london yes which is a pretty <laughs> incredible thing to be part of actually right we like to think so and a lot of it now sadly i just know off the top of my head because i i just i sort of learned if you're traveling somewhere new then it's, yeah. it's really handy to know what's going to be there before you get there and on that note, Jeff, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me here on this lovely sofa and for talking tube travel and tech with us. Um, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I actually inquired into buying Jeff to have in my pocket to navigate the city firsthand, but apparently it's borderline illegal to request such a thing and it breaches some kind of human rights or something. I, I don't know, I wasn't really listening. <laughs>